guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and today it's time to make a rainbow connection using our brand new free Easy Baby Bargello quilt. And it comes in two sizes. They're both kid friendly, super easy, and you're gonna love this quilt. You can put it together in a couple of hours. So let's get started. So for this quilt, the key is to have six colors for your rainbow. And we did the traditional red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And we're using the brand new Beyond Bella Basic by Moda Fabrics. And you also need a fabric for out here. And we wanted it to be a really nice accent so that your rainbow would stick out. Now you could use a white, but we decided to go with aqua. And this pattern has two different sizes. And today we're gonna to be making the smaller size, which is the crib, but you could use the same techniques to do toddler, you'll just have different sizes. Most of the work in this quilt is going to be your cutting. So what I would suggest is just cut everything, label them with your alphabetty so you don't accidentally sew the wrong fabric because they all kind of look the same. And you're gonna cut six strips for your rainbow. So spend some time, cut it nice, have everything labeled and the rest is a breeze. So your first step is to take all of your fabric K strips and I'm gonna lay them on the table just in color order and show you what you'll be doing with them. So I'm just gonna put it in the rainbow color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And then what I would do here is I would sew two together at a time. So I would sew the blue and purple together first and I do think it's very important for you to pin instead of just going to the sewing machine and sewing, pinning is gonna give you non-wavy strips. So I would sew, I would first I would pin all the way down. And this pattern, I do want you to pay attention to the arrows in the diagram. The arrows in the diagram are gonna tell you exactly which way to press and that way everything comes out nice and even. So I would sew the blue and purple together. Then I would sew the yellow and green together doing the same thing, pinning. And then I would put the red and orange together. I would sew with a quarter inch seam, press according to the pattern, and then you're gonna lay them out and it's going to end up looking like this. And just pay attention to the arrows when you're pressing and it's going to be 18 and a half inches this way and the width of fabric this way. And really all the work in the quilt now is going to be subcutting this up. So let's start doing that. And remember, I'm gonna be giving you measurements for the crib. And if you're doing the toddler, your sizes will be a little bit different. So to cut everything up, what I'm gonna do is make a straight edge. And because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna do that on the right side. And I'm gonna line up on my Creative Grids ruler on one seam and then look at another seam and just make sure it's straight. You wanna make sure you cut all of the salvages off. So you'll trim and then rotate. And in this pattern, it tells me exactly what to do. So my first cut is gonna be two and a half. So I'm gonna put the two and a half inch line on my ruler and we have that labeled as number one. So what I will do is bring it to my design board and I'm just gonna put it up here and label it number one. My next cut is three and a half, and I'm gonna put the three and a half inch line, and then that's gonna be number two. So we'll do the same thing. And you can put this on top of your other ones because when we lay it out, we can lay it out in different stacks. The next cut is four and a half, and that's gonna be number three. And you can see how the Bargello is kind of coming together. Now we're gonna to go to seven and a half and that's where it's gonna get tricky. So what I do is, you can either use a wider ruler or I'm gonna do this, this is what I do. Just cut and move your ruler as you go. And that way you don't have to buy a second ruler, you can just use one ruler. And this one's gonna be number four. My next cut is nine and a half inches. So from here, I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm gonna just use the nine and a half inch line over here. And if you feel like this has gotten out of alignment, you can do another straight edge cut. 
but I feel like mine is pretty straight, so I don't feel like I needed to do that. Now you could just use a wider ruler, but I don't think that's necessary. You could also use the lines on the mat. For this part, I just prefer to use a ruler. So that's number five. And on that, I'm just gonna go this way. And just use one design board, it'll hold all of your fabric. Your next cut is 11 and a half. So from here, just do that same thing. And you're lining up the 11 and a half and then the bottom, or you can line up this seam. This will be number six. And then this part you do not need. So you can throw this away or you could cut it and sew it into your backing somehow if you wanted to save it and use it for something else. Now we can build our quilt. So the key to this quilt is just to build your quilt following this diagram and you've got everything labeled with your alphabet and your numbers. And I'm just gonna start building on the bottom. So we'll have the red on the left, and this is part six. And then I'm gonna add my fabric A, and then that's gonna go right here. Now what you could do is you could go ahead and sew it together before you build the whole quilt, but I'm gonna go ahead and build the whole quilt. But when you are building it, use pins right here so it doesn't get a bubble effect. So that's our bottom row. Our next row has fabric H, number five, and I'm gonna just lay it on top here, and then a fabric B. So we'll put our H here and our B here, and you're gonna see the rainbow build. Now, obviously, I'm putting these on top of each other, but then you're gonna see it build. Then we're gonna put a fabric D on the left, part four, and you can see how the red and the oranges start touching. So we've got a D on the left and a C on the right. So it's getting skinnier and skinnier. And then we've got our part three. And again, I'm putting that right on top of the orange. And then I've got an E on the left and then an F on the right. And then I've got part two, put that right on top of the orange. We've got a G on the left and an I on the right. And then our last strip is the number one, and we've got a J on the left, and that's it. So what I would do here is sew this together, press according to the pattern, lay it down. Sew this together, press, lay it down. I would do row by row, then lay it back down on your table. Make sure your rainbow is formed. Make sure you don't accidentally do you know, purple on the left on one of them. And when you sew each row together, you're gonna to pin at each intersection and all your seams are going to nest. And that's gonna give you a really nice rainbow when you pin. So that's all it takes to make this awesome rainbow quilt. And you can see how the wonderful quilting on this that was done by Gina Tell of Thread Graffiti really takes the panograph idea and builds it on your rainbow. And it's so pretty. And this is such a beginner quilt. Another thing you can do is on the binding, you can either do a light color, you could do aqua so that it blends in, or you could do a brighter color. And for the back, we also used a Beyond Bella, but you could also put a print on the back of your quilt. So lots of options when you're adding your binding and your backing. So I would love to see your finished quilts on Facebook and Instagram, so make sure to share them there with us at Fat Quarter Shop and subscribe to our channel so you can find more videos like this. See you next time.